Hey guys, Saris here from Talking Phones and today we're reviewing the Huawei Y9 2019. Now the Huawei Y9 2019 edition is actually a massive phone because it comes with a 6.5 inch display. It is a full HD display which has 1080 by 2340 pixels and a ratio about 19 by 5 by 9. Now this is the new ratio which most of the devices these days are having, especially all the 2018 devices, considering they have a notch they have to have bigger screens and smaller bezels. So this is one way of reducing the overall uh, bezel size but increasing the screen size. Other than that, the Huawei Y9 2019, because it's a predecessor uh, for, of the Mate 10 Lite, the quad cameras do make a comeback. And when, it, when you talk about the cameras though, the Y9 2019 comes with a dual 16 megapixel and a 2 megapixel depth sensor camera, which is the main camera. And it also has HDR plus and can record videos in 1080p at 30 frames per second. On the selfie front though, it also has a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel and a 2 megapixel. So guys, from the software front, the Huawei Y9 2019 runs on Android 8.1 Oreo and it has an EMUI 8.2 theme on it. So that is how the latest uh, Huawei phones these days actually have. Now, Huawei are also working on EMUI 9, which will basically be running uh, Android version uh, 9 which is actually Android Pie and because this is going to this is a 2019 edition phone uh, I'm pretty sure that this phone will also receive that update uh, so other than that so it also has your Google card swipe right over here either you can have the app drawer or you can have all your apps over here depending on what you want okay now coming to the notch guys now after using the device for a while like most of the phones these days the notch honestly doesn't bother me too much initially when uh, when i first used a phone which had the notch uh i may i had my doubts that it may be a bit annoying uh, but for example if you're playing pubg right uh, then I'd prefer that I close the notch so that the game doesn't cut. So only during gameplay, sometimes I do feel that the without the notch would be actually better. But in everyday use, because Huawei has done a, a pretty good job in putting the notifications on proper sides so that it doesn't bother. And even when you, have, when you have to close the notch. So I'll just show you how to do that. So yeah, so even if you close the notch, right, uh, you can basically all the notifications go on to actually get a lot of screen size. And even with the notch, there are some customization options as well, which Google has allowed us to do. So it basically uh, lets the phone decide or lets the user decide actually that which uh, apps should actually use the notch and which one which should not. So a lot of these apps right now have been uh, mod it so that they can use the notch but some of them don't so let's see how it works so guys we wanted to test out how do the games and all work on this phone because 
because it comes with a high silicon Kirin 710 processor which is an octa-core processor and the GPU is a Mali G51 processor so we wanted to check out how does the Y9 perform when it comes to gaming so we had some games in it so one is called Sonic Runners so you can see guys that the game is actually performing very smoothly here and there's no actually issue, no issues with running the game this was one game we also had another game spider-man unlimited so we could check it out so you can see that so it's quite fluid the graphics are actually qu quite good and you don't really need and it doesn't actually heat up too much when you basically game and so if this is able to run games like this and then it will be able to run some triple other triple a games like pubg or clash of clans or stuff like that so uh and of course uh, racing games like asphalt can also work very well on this other than gaming uh, we also wanted to check out how does this phone perform when it comes to the sound so we had some music so one is this let's put it over here So guys, uh, so you could actually tell that the speakers are quite loud and even though uh, it only comes with uh, single uh, bottom firing speakers, the overall volume is actually loud. Uh, YouTubing is also quite great on this massive 6.5 inch display. So if you want to ever actually want, uh, want to watch Netflix or you want to YouTube, this actually performs very well. Let me show you how the thing works when you actually open YouTube. So basically you zoom in and you get do particularly with the TNT. Let's focus on that for a moment. So quite often effect would use the TNT. As so yeah, so I have a lot of Overwatch videos because I love to play that game. So guys, so it performs very well on most cases. Uh, and when you talk about the battery as well, the 4000 milliamp battery at the back does last you more than its than its predecessor, uh, which was the Mate 10 Lite. Uh, because this one has a 4000 milliamp battery, so it lasts you a full day. And even when you actually use it for light gaming or browsing and you have data on all the time. So overall, it's actually quite a good uh, battery. So guys, that was the review for the Huawei Y9. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel uh, guys please make sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we put up more videos until next time guys thank you so much for watching take care bye bye